Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank you. In the interest of time, I'll go straight to the point. I support the statement by Senator Mbito, and I'd like to urge the government not only to consider these industries, the tourism sector, but also to look at restaurants, bars, you know, that really employ quite a lot of people in this country, and now those people are jobless. Uh, Mr. Speaker, if we talk about a stimulus package, we must think of a stimulus package that will benefit people directly, that will put food. I'm, I really appreciate what Senator Langat has spoken about and Senator Kinua in regards to the life of the people who live closer to the parks. In the Masai Mara, a lot of people suffered because they depended on the tourism little dollars for them to be able to have their economy. Uh, those people also had um, their pubs, they had their, you know, they also had their restaurants. In fact, if you listen to some adver advertisement in other developing countries, musicians are now streaming music live on the internet and asking people to donate a dollar or a shilling or two to be able to help those people, like DJs. You know, there are jobs that when we think about, really, some of us are very lucky that we can be able to get a salary. But when this COVID hit, you know, the poor local people who depend on music, people who depend on those small restaurants, the waiters, were not getting any money. They were all fired. And now that we still don't know when the economy is going to be open, I think it is imperative that we think about how we can really encourage uh, these people to continue carrying out their businesses so that we can stop this issue of people being out in the streets. Mr. Speaker, sir, finally, even the children, you know, we have a lot of street kids now. You know, the other day I was looking at the streets of Nairobi, and it almost takes me back to the years of the 80s when there were so many kids. I hope that we can now really, with this Kazim Taani, we can be able to target those street kids, people who, who sleep along the Waiyaki way. Whenever I'm driving to go home at night, uh, Mr. Speaker, you find people lighting firewood on the side of the road. These are people who this stimulus package must help. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, I support, and I hope the committee will really make serious recommendations on how we can continue helping these people who have really been hit hard. I thank you, Mr. Speaker.